hydraulic jack is a small device which can lift heavy loads with very little effort by the jack operator. It works on the lever principle. If we place a lever under a heavy object, we can lift it by raising the free end of the lever. The distance the object is lifted can be a few inches, but the free end of the lever has to travel much more distance than that, and that is the ratio of multiplication of the force. If we move a lever 10 times the distance it will lift the object, we can lift 100 pounds with an effort equivalent to 10 pounds. Thus, we will have to move the lever 10 inches for every inch of lifting. One drawback is that the free end of the lever is limited as to the distance it can travel, so the object cannot be lifted very far from the ground. The way to solve that problem is by using a mechanism which allows swinging of the free end of the lever without the object going down again. If we can swing the lever several times, we can lift the object for a practical distance. The hydraulic jack allows you to do just that. In this schematic, we can see the inside of a hydraulic jack. We see there are two pistons, each of them inside their cylinders. There is also a hydraulic oil reservoir. In fact, any liquid would do, but by using oil, we prevent rust and improve the lubrication of the mechanism. First, we place the jack in the proper place to lift whatever object we want to raise off the ground. The big piston, labeled A, is in its extreme lower position, and its cylinder is almost empty. We will start by moving upwards the small piston, labeled B, which sucks oil into the small cylinder through automatic valve C. Once the small cylinder is full, we move down piston B. We are using a short lever, which increases the force several times. The liquid in the small cylinder is forced out, closing automatic valve C, while opening valve D, forcing the oil into piston A cylinder. The amount of oil pumped into cylinder A is very small, so piston A moves a very short distance. Thus, the lever effect multiplies the force applied to the big piston. Again, we move the small piston B upwards in order to recharge its cylinder with another small amount of oil. As before, automatic valve C opens and the oil flows from the reservoir into the small cylinder. Once more, we push down the small piston, thus closing valve C and injecting oil into the big cylinder through valve D. Then we repeat these actions as many times as necessary until we raise the object we wish to lift, which could be a very heavy automobile, by repeating a small effort many times, thus gaining a difference in distance between the strokes of the small piston and the short stroke of the big piston. When we want to lower the raised object, we simply open the butterfly valve E to allow oil to go back to the reservoir so the big piston can go down. This is the way a hydraulic jack multiplies human force. I hope this explanation is useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.